What's going on guys? My name's Dave and this is my screen printing shop, Momentum Custom Apparel. Thank you for joining me because today is going to be a good one. We're doing a six color design on my Anatol Lightning. It's a samurai print. I'm really excited about it. The art came out amazing. So um, yeah, stick around. It's going to be a good one. All right, first off, I gotta adjust my screen drying rack, and then after that, we'll coat some screens. So this is uh, real easy to adjust. We're set up for our uh, 31 inch tall screens. That slides right out. Boom, just like that, 20 by 24. All right, real quick, this is the artwork, and uh, this is the program I use to separate the colors. We got base white, and we're gonna hit it with some red, blue, gold, gray, and then finally hit it with white again, and all that. We'll give us our final image, so. Let's print out these transparencies. All right, I just got all my transparencies printed out. I just laid them out here so you can see what I got going on. And every one, you know, has reg marks, and it's number five in gold. You know what I mean? So I know what color it is. Time to uh, burn some screens. Okay, in case anyone's wondering, all these six transparencies are all on 230 mesh, and I use a Diazo type of motion on all of them for uh, greater detail for the half tone. So I don't know if you've seen in any of my other videos, I like to always drip on this to uh, loosen up the emulsion a little bit, soften it up before I glass it with a pressure washer. when you're spraying and you can see the image just like appear in front of your face. It's uh, I don't know, it's like soothing. It's very exciting for me. I don't know if I'm just a dork, but I love it. Look at this screen. I think this is the coolest screen I've ever made. Check it out. What 
is this? This is the final white screen. I'm burning the other one right now. Get ready for press pretty soon. All right. All right. This is uh, the gold. I got my Anatol lightning stack. So I'll come over to the press. We're gonna get this thing all registered up to a transparency. I'll show you how it works. Come on with me. So all I want to do is make this thing nice and uh, square to the palette. Okay, now that we got the transparency uh, taped down, now we got to zero out all the print heads on the press. All right, so you can see like uh looks like uh, a target or something like that so what they do is loosen print heads i already did that so now they're free for adjustment and we want to make the point in the center of each of those crosshairs and like i said that will give us maximum adjustability when we're trying to register the screens to the transparency. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's go, I'll do that to the rest of the print head, and then I will start registering the screens. All right, I gotta get all my screens registered now. Print heads are zeroed. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but right here, that's super far off. Um, I don't want to use a registration knob since to move that. That's crazy. We're not meant for that. So what I'm gonna do is loosen screen clamps. And what I do is I get it pretty damn close with this. Perfect. Can you see that? I like it. I'm just gonna tighten down the arm clamps. All right, I just got all six screens registered up to that transparency. Let's go tape them up. all taped up on the press it's all inked up Let's start printing this bad boy all right so we're going to start off we're going to do a print flash print on the white I got no registration marks <laughs>
All right, now we're gonna hit it with the blue. I'm really pleased with this print. It looks dope. All right, right now, I'm curing the plastisol ink on my heat press because I don't have a conveyor dryer. Well, my conveyor dryer is on order, let me put it that way. But for now, I'm curing with this bad boy. Got it set at 320 degrees for 20 seconds, and I hit it twice. I've done several wash tests, uh, and this cures it. Uh, really well actually. Oh yeah, come on. Woo! Look at that, huh? Fire! I love it. Okay, since I don't have a sleeve pallet or a little pillow, I usually turn these things inside out, press the whole damn thing. Whoa, that's a lot of pressure. That's better. See that neck label? You like it? I like it. All right, guys. 
what I ended up doing, but I didn't catch it on camera because that was an afterthought. I was, in it, I was playing around with the press the next day. Anyway, what I did was I hit it with the white base again over the red, and it gave it this cool kind of um, maybe an auburn -y effect instead of this bright red. And I just like the detailing and stuff uh, that they added white. Uh, that it created. So it just goes to show you, you know, always, you know, it's not always uh, how you plan it and stuff. I was just playing with things, switching up the order, the print order a little bit. And uh, sometimes it's horrible. And sometimes, you know, you get pleasantly surprised and uh, you get these results. So uh, check out this print. After I switched up the print order a little bit, it's like night and day, so. Tell me what you think in the comments, and uh, I love it. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Check it out. Look at all the half tones in this print. It is amazing, the detail. Are you seeing this? Is this translating through this camera? How crazy this fucking print is. Sorry for my language. I just get really excited and I start swearing. <laughs> Look at all the half tones. This is one time magnification. This is just crazy the level of detail. Look at that print. That'll make any screen printer happy, man. I'm proud of this one. Look at Thank you, you guys, if you made it this far. Um, I'm so happy about this print. You know, it came out really good. And that clay bowls, you know, just finished everything off. Um, you know, wow. <laughs> So yeah, thanks for watching, you know, please subscribe and all that good jazz, or if not, I just, just watch and check it out, that's cool too. Uh, until the next one, remember, stay printing.